If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain Is a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold When your day's down here through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold I believe when your day's down here or through There's a place up there For people like you
Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand in the latter day upon this earth. And though all my skin burn the strongest body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall behold for myself, and that I shall see him and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and we certain we carried nothing out. The Lord gave it. And the Lord has taken away, blessed be the name. I will ransom thee from the power of the grave. I will redeem thee from death. O death, I will be thy pain. O grave, I will be thy destruction. As such in the dead, that they rise. Have ye not read in the book of Moses? For the Lord said, I am the God of the living, I am not the God of the dead. The man that is born of a woman is a few days, and his life is full of trouble. Pray in the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord as we continue. We'll be having a whole thing here. Precious memory, unseen angels. Send from somewhere to my soul, all their linger, ever near me, and the sacred path unto Precious memory.
for remaining this moment. And we give you thanks for God for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for the life of your daughter. God, we glorify your holy name. You are a God of all perfection. You are a God of all mercy and all grace. That you touch her life, Lord, and keep her all these years, Lord. This moment, if you see it fit, Lord, to take her home. I pray, Almighty God, you are blessing upon the country. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, as we gather together in your name, Lord, to give you thanks for the life of your daughter. I pray, Almighty God, you are blessing. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Upon each and every one that our eyes, Lord, will be centered on you. And our thought will be of you, God. For I know, Lord, that uh, you have called her home to glory. She's now in paradise. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Her eyes open to the reality of another world. And Father God, I pray this moment to give us a, a reception.
with that legacy that Sister Agatha has left for us. So we are going to be continuing with our program today. And let me tell you something. As I've said before, we are here to rejoice. It's a grand occasion. So you are going to be shouting. Feel free to shout. You want to dance? Feel free to dance. Because we are here celebrating. At this point, we are going to be having our first lesson. And this lesson will be coming from Psalms 90, from verses 1 through to 10, and will be done by Hosea and Sandy Forrest. Around, around, 
her friends and greet them with a smile. Another thing I notice whenever the music plays, she could not stand still. Whenever the music plays, she could not stand still, although her leg was not moving. She would get up and dance her feet off. She was so amusing, I really miss her, her passing of me a week. The reason why I was the last person that saw her the day she died. In the morning, I went to the hospital to look for her. She was so glad and happy to see me. She held on to my hand and said, I am so glad to see you. She hugged me. I, I clean her up, made her bed, I fed her with a yogurt. And she said to me, I love it, it tastes so nice. I read Psalms 27 and James 5 and prayed with her. She was praying and praising and thanking God. Although she was in pain, although she was in major pain, she hung on to her father telling him thanks. When it was time for me to leave, she said, I said to her, it is time for me to go. She held out to my hand and said, don't leave me, I want to come. I want to come with you, take me with you. She said, my tongue is paining, paining me. She said, you must come back to look for me. I did not know I would not take, talk to her again. One thing I'm glad for, she died holding on to God's eyes. Sister, mama, <coughs> grandma, great grandma, my beautiful wife, we are so shattered and broken to see you all. Our heart broken but God love you yes. Goodbye my sister. Rest in eternal peace. We all miss you.
in Lord, just live a life that you can eat from a you one day. I know she's right in the
Ya está, ya está.
Mr. Lloyd, coming down to me, the smallest daughter. You know, I remember getting pregnant with my son. The sweet son. Yes, my handsome son. <laughs> and when the news brought that I was pregnant, you know, Mama said, you know, we tell you to talk to a granddaughter. Yeah. 
this will have followed the second lesson at this time. So you come by the same harbor. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
we're reading from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 15 to 58. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trumpet shall shout, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For the, for the corruptible must be put on incorruption, and this mortal must be put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall be put on immortality, that shall be brought to pass, the same that is written. But death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which given, sorry, which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always unbounded, unbounded in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Praise the Lord. You're tired with the hallelujahs? Can I get another hallelujah? Bless the Lord. At this time we're going to be having our offertory hymn. Our ushers will be coming around to you at this time as our offering will be lifted. And we're going to be taking the song, The Lord is my shepherd. I'll not want, and this will be done to the tune of the happy wanderer. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want, he makes me down to life.
children and grandchildren to stand by for your floral children. So while you make yourself ready for that, we are going to be having two tributes from the church family. We are going to be having the Fraser's Content Church Family tribute from Pastor Faith Samuels and then followed by Pastor Dexter Johnson with the St. John's Church Family. And then the family members will be coming with your floral tribute. So just make yourself ready for that. Thank you, Minister Jones. Thank God for a day like this, that we are here to celebrate the loss of our loved one. Mama, it has been over 10 years since I got closer and closer with Mama. Mama served this church well, and you know, I always take a little time out to talk to her about certain things and she reminded me or she would tell me that she started out in the church of God of prophecy way back in the days at Oxford Road that's where we now have the bank that same location where we have the bank VMBS Amen? So many, many years ago, and she also told me that Bishop Jonathan Riley married her, you know, and then when she went to another denomination, and when we came here, I don't know, we don't think with Papa, you know, loving Papa, and maybe hearing so much about their pastors daughter and son that she joined us here at Praise Us Content Church of God of Prophecy. I am telling you, brothers and sisters, for those who might not know and can recall, that she has a book. She has written books for us to follow those legacies. And if you believe that, let me hear you say amen. there will be no place for the others. Only maybe the only family members. But she served us well. She's always been a lively woman of God. And I heard somebody said earlier that when you visit Mama, Mama is always ending up with us in prayer. But the last time, few days before she said goodbye to us. The Lord had it ordained that we should visit Mama on that day. And I'm telling you, we could not change that visit. When we went and we visited Mama and Papa, we talked and we prayed together. Sister Morgan was right there. And we shared, you know, and we prayed and we talk about some of our loved ones. And when she heard that our appreciation service would have been the first Sunday of December, her daughter said, well, I, we can get you ready and you come. Not knowing that mama had another journey to take. But I'm seeing brothers and sisters, I'm encouraging the family members do not mourn or do not cry as if there's no hope in Jesus. There's hope in Jesus. And if we continue to live a life holy and righteous living, then we will see Mama again. She had a good way of greeting me, which I would not share with you. And I had a good way of greeting her too. You know, come in here and then that in that second bench and sometimes the first bench, their mama has a way of greeting her daughter. She loved us. And we loved us with that love of the Lord. One of her favorite songs was Keep Me True. Lord Jesus. Lord, when I get to that house, when we get to that house tonight, we are roll that song. That is the time we dance in the Lord. 
Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. For there's a race that I must run. And there's a victory that I must win. Give me power every hour. Keep me true. I am saying, brothers and sisters, pastors, ministers, loved ones, friends, well wishers, we continue to live the precious memories of Mother Agatha Williamson. She will be missed in this local church. But one thing I know, I know that she will not miss heaven. And we want to know that we won't miss heaven neither. God bless you. We could talk on and on, but time. But thank God she has been saved. Papa, be of good courage. You will meet her again. You have shared some good times together, which we have experienced with you. And to God be the glory. Brothers and sisters, cheer up. Because God will continue to see us through as we be true to the Lord to the end. God bless you again. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Come on, somebody praise God. Just, just give God some worship. Just give God. Just give God some worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is not good some of the time. He's good all the time. And I, I bless God that this celebration could not miss me. My, my wife wanted to be here, but she had to be at work. Because this is the final day for this year. So I bring greetings from the family of the St. John's Road Church of God in Jamaica. Some of the members are here. But we see ourselves as partners, family, as friends. And we stand with our, our sister Prudence, her own daughter, and the others that continue to just fellowship and, and be with us. I give God thanks for a woman that knows her God. By the time I've met her and our encounter, I knew that she loved God with not some of her heart, but with all, all of her heart. And in a way, uh, well, uh, your senior pastor share, and let me just salute the ministers and leadership here. You know, I just hear the song keep ringing out, heaven sounding sweeter all the time. And it seems like lately, it's always on my mind. When I come to a, a, a funeral service like this, or sharing one, I'm a woman by excitement. Because I'm not asking that probably or if or we might pop up. Here is a woman that lived for her God. She has made her calling an election sure. And I hear in the book of Revelation, the final chapter, as the word of God come forth, my rewards are with me. And I'm going to give to every man according to what? He has done. And mama run the race well. And I hear like Paul, I hear her declaring in her final days. And I declare mama gone on, but yet speaking, I hear her declaring, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering. And the time of my departure has come. Hallelujah. But with certainty, she declared, I have fought the good fight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. Mighty God. And without doubt, she has kept the faith. A prior warrior. A loving mother. A precious woman of God. A tremendous worker in God's kingdom, an encourager. She has gone on before us. The greatest legacy then is for the rest to ensure 
that we join her in glory. God bless you as we continue to celebrate her life and her legacy in Christ's name.
God that comes along with you. Rest assured that this woman has made her mom a wonderful sword who have trained her kids to know God. And I'm just encouraging family to keep her legacy, cherish her legacy, keep the fire burning, and rest assured you will see her one day. My heart can sing when I pause to remember the heart it's here is just a stepping stone. the majority of her life. 
She lived there, worked, raised her family. One of her favorite things to boast about as a child was how our, grand, our grandparents have 15 picking Right? <laughs> After they've been that and started in St. Catherine, Agneta had two children, Leroy Campbell and Gloria McKenzie, both of whom had passed away. However, However, the most fruitful union began one fateful day in 
and she prayed for them. She prayed for your back of olive oil and she said, Thank you. And then she said, Let's go. Thank you, my man. Number three. Oh, sorry. We have our annual dinner on New Year's. And we always have a devotion in the morning that Mama led. And she always called every individual name and pray for them individually. Sometimes we put time and go and go sit up. And she still prayed. Lord Jesus. Number two. Saving for her was essential. She wasn't one to squander. She was a saver. Mama saved everything. Don't to have a whole picture for you. All clothes. That won't hurt. Now we're done. She would always say, keep your money. Save it for your pity then. She was never one to do the unnecessary spending. Three. Family was always important. As you can see, majority of family found one land. Keep it close. She don't want nobody to go there. She was very devoted to her family and she instilled that same value in her children. Alright? Being there to support her, you know, your children emotionally, physically, and especially pretty spiritually was one of her main. And finally, now a recurring theme for Mama was always keep yourself. My God. She would tell us that always, preaching that we should not run around and we need to find one person. Down. She would always say that, and, and as, especially for me, when she prayed for me, she would always end by forcefully, you know, Mama, Mama, we put our hand in strong. When she does pray, she believes together, and she says, Sally, you have to keep yourself. <laughs> and Sally was her nickname for me, and she gave all of her grandchildren a nickname. And then she, she wouldn't call us by our given names, whatever nickname she gave us. That's the name that we worked with. Mama was a warm and loving woman. People would always speak of her warmth and affection and how she offered hugs and kisses freely. She loved offering food for others. And when she got anything, she would either say, Where Papa one day? Or, me I put up some for Papa. She was like this even in her last days. When she got sick and was admitted to the hospital, her sister, Sister Anderson, went to visit her. And she was feeding her some yogurt. And halfway through the yogurt, she said, Can you put on to Papa? When you have passed the yard, make sure you bring some cocaine. Mama fell ill earlier this year, and in September, family received an official diagnosis. But even during this challenging time of her life, her faith never wavered. She prayed consistently and she still found the courage to tell us to give our lives to God. Amen. Amen. On Sunday, November 20th, she was admitted to the Spanish Town Hospital. On the night of November 24th, the family received the tragic news that she had succumbed to the illness. Adapted Williamson, she survived by husband Reverend Melanie Wilson Williamson. Eleven children, Pam, Sam, Billy, Bunny, Madge, Shinny, Nez, Micah, Fed, Patrick, and Paul. 49 grandchildren that we cannot call them in by the church. 59 great grandchildren that we worse than I call them in. No sir. One great grandchild that I call them in. Azario. Now we have a next one for the way. One sister, Sister Anderson, God bless you. And nieces and nephews. And at this time, the family would like to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to the, the community, the church, and everyone that has supported us during our time of grief. We love you, Mama. Well, God loves you best. Sleep on. And take your rest. Mama, we love you. We know you're going to miss her. But we'll be there for you. I cheer you up as much as we can. You know, 
and God made all, all the difference. Brother Dudley, I am saying to you, my brother, be strong. God is with you. Children, be of good courage. God is with you. I just want to share my little thought or topic this afternoon. And it is, death is not final. Death is not final. I want to say, Sister Yata has died. But this is not the end of it. She lay in her casket, but I want us to know this evening, it is not the end. Dog die, cat die, cow die, chicken die, goat die. And we eat them, I will bury them, and that's it. But I want to say to us this evening, as it concerns man, death is not final. Death is not final. And I know many of us, or all of us here love Sister Agatha. And we want to see her again. We want to be where she is. But I want to say to somebody this evening, it's not an automatic thing that you're going to see her. It takes a certain requirement. It takes a certain standard for us to be where she has made her destination. I want to use a few verses from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. And the word says, But I will not have you to be ignorant brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that he saw not, even as other which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, Will God bring with him? For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that ye which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words so as I said earlier in my first statement death is not final Death is not final. I want us to know this afternoon that the Lord Jesus Christ, he was unhurt, he lived a life, he died, he buried, he was raised from the dead. And just as though he raised from the dead, he gives us the affirmation, he gives us the confirmation just as he raised from the dead. If we believe in Jesus Christ, one of these days, when he return, hallelujah, with a show on the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. So I know where Sister Gata is concerned. She is in first class status. Hallelujah. Even we are alive, we will not get the privilege that she gets first you know, in, the, in, the air, in the airplane, in yeah, first class, the first sex. It says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. So, when we die, there is another life after this life. And I'm saying to somebody, is now every and anybody will be able to be caught up. In order to be caught up, you have certain requirements that you have to make. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I am glad for the great gathering this afternoon. I know many of you with a long time, you have not been in a church. But I am saying to you this afternoon, coming to the church is good. 
But I want today to be more than just coming into a church. But I want today to be a day in which you experience a new relationship with God. Because God says, it's appointed unto man once to die. But after this, the judgment. We can live as we like. We can talk as we like. We can walk as we like. But where the judgment is concerned, we cannot go and decide where we want as we like. It's the life that we live will determine where we will spend our long eternity. As much as Mother you, Mother Agatha, love your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and in-laws, and community friends, if you want to meet her again, you have to make a decision. You have to change the course you are walking in if it's not the right course. Because heaven is a real place. I'm just saying all the sweet song that we can sing, and the nice song that we can talk, that is not what God calls us to be in heaven. It takes a life, a new life, a life that is transformed out of the ordinary. We have to make amends to our life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you might be saying, but people live on God, love people. Say so God love people. Everybody should go to the same place. No. He makes humans with choices. He makes choice, he makes provision also for man. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you might be saying, or we might be saying that God is a God of love. But I want to say this afternoon, the same God is a God of love, is a God of judgment. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we have many proof of this God I'm talking about. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed the earth with flood and only Noah and his family were saved. I am saying this afternoon, it is the same God. He now provides his son, Jesus Christ. He sent him to die and he died and he's living right now. And he wants to make a man. He wants to bridge the gap that we might be having right now. To be a part of the kingdom of God. So I'm saying this afternoon to my own saved friends. I want today to be a, a, a memorable day to say. On the day that grandmother and mama and aunt Agatha died. I think about giving my life to Christ. Because I want to see her again. I would love to live with her again. And she has lived the life. So I want to live a life like she lived. The opportunity is for you this afternoon. It's your chance to make a man. I just want to leave this other scripture. To let you know that where hell is concerned. And we have this concern in not just a makeup story and I'm just saying something to scare you. But the word of God according to St. John 5, verse 25, going down, it says, Very early I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father had life in himself, so had he given to the Son to have life in himself. And I have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. And all that come forth, they that have done good unto resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto a resurrection of damnation. So, death is not final. Death is not final. There is going to be a resurrection for the dead. Whether you are saved or not, you're going to be resurrected. But, it's going to be a resurrection for life everlasting. 
or a resurrection of damnation. Which of the resurrection you want to fall in? This evening, this afternoon, you have the chance. This afternoon, you can change your position. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said death is not final. Death is just a transition of a life, life to come. But it's the life that we live will determine where we will go. Where will you want to spend your long eternity? Huh? Do you want life everlasting? Or you want life of damnation and torment? Where the world never die and the fire never quench. This is Bible. It is in St. Mark 9 verse 14. Where it may mention where the world never die and the fire never quench. You want to be in a place burning, tormented with fire, but at the same time, worm, I go bite you? Huh? That can't be a good place. This afternoon, I am saying to somebody, make use of this opportunity to serve God and to keep this commandment, but this is the old duty of man. You have been living from the start of the year. Today is the 29th. Just two days leave for this year to end. None of us here must live to see the end. But one thing I can assure you, if you make your calling and election sure, even if death come within the last these few days, heaven will be worth it all. Heaven will be better than this. So I say to you, family members, friends, neighbor, and even if you are enemy, I want to say to you this afternoon, mother you, I know she will be greatly happy to know that you surrender your life to the Lord. I believe that will be the greatest joy to know that you surrender. But children who are saved, remain saved. Those who are not saved, I am encouraging you to get saved. Grandchildren, great-grand, in-laws, get saved because the end is here and Jesus is going to come back with his hand full of the world to pay every man according as his word shall be. Madam, Madam, you, she has fought a good fight. She has finished her course. She has kept the faith. Henceforth is left for her a throne of life which the righteous judge shall give. This evening you too can have access. You can speak to death. That's the whole death. Where is that sting? Oh grave, where is that victory? Today, put your trust in God. Put your confidence in God because he has made a way, even when there was no way, he bled and died, and he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. We can't go to heaven. As we like, we can't go to heaven if we don't surrender our life to the Lord. There is no sharp cut. And I'm just saying as blunt as that. There is no sharp cut. And it's not our good works that are going to save us. It's not our good deed that going to save us. It's a life, repentant life, turning your life over to Jesus. That is what will make the difference. We continue to pray for your family. We continue to encourage you. Take heed unto yourself that you can be a part of the number where the saints go marching in. God bless you. God keep you. Live for God because it's the best thing that can ever happen to you. Bless you. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying at this time, but it's all
also know a time of reflection. As our word goal for today, that is not final. So who would like to reflect on this time? When I get to this stage, what will be my next life? Will I make it to heaven? Or will I not? Will I be able to see what I get her again? Or I'm not going to be seeing her again? But it's time for you to reflect. But the thing about it is that we are still here. And we still have that choice to make that right decision. Our pastor will be coming at this time to be praying for the family. I'm going to be asking the family to remain seated. All family members, you remain seated. And the rest of us, will we please stand together as we join in this prayer. And as this prayer goes forth, I want you to reflect after when I get to this stage, where will I go next? The choice is yours. Let us bow our heads everywhere. Bless the name of the Lord. Death is not final. Where will we spend our eternity? Long eternity. Death is final. And I'm not just going to pray for the family members, but I just want to ask a question. Is there anyone who can say that on this 29th day of December 2022, two days before the year is ended, that I surrender my life to the Lord, will you just raise a hand and let me pray with you today? You're saying, I, I am surrendering my life to Jesus. I live for almost years and years and years and another year to an ending with the devil but I'm saying yes to Jesus can you raise a hand you listen to the words is there somebody I see a little one and a little child shall leave them is there another hand am I talking or to those who are saying they are Christians okay let us pray Father God, we thank you for this another moment. We thank you, Jesus, that all our life you have been faithful. All our life, Lord, you have been so good. Lord, we thank you for this day, this moment, this celebration of a life well lived by your daughter. We thank you for the words from your servant, Lord. And Lord, right now, I present the family members to you. Lord, they are grieving the loss of their loved ones. Loved one. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are asking of you, Almighty God, hallelujah, that you will Anoint your children afresh. Father God, we are asking of you that you give them strength during this difficult time. You will comfort their hearts, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Your children will know that you are God. And you promise that you'll never leave them. You will so almighty God, I pray for your comprehensive covering in the name of Jesus. Preserve the Gather Williams' children, grandchildren, great-grand, Lord, her husband will need more of you, Lord Jesus, other family members, Lord. Children. 
the Lord is there going out and if they are coming in, you will be there with them. Almighty God, they are in your hands. Hallelujah. You know their strengths. You know their weaknesses. I pray, Almighty God, hallelujah, that you will minister to them. Hallelujah. Help them to put their trust and their confidence in you, O oh God. Lord, for those who are standing, even for the child who lift up our hand to Lord, even for those who are even scared of recognizing you publicly, I pray, Almighty God, that you will minister to the heart of your people. The souls of man are dying. But I pray, Almighty God, that your children will all And so, Almighty God, I place everything in your hands, all your children in your hands. And Lord, as we are about to journey, some are about to journey to the cemetery. Oh God, for the remains to be laid, I pray, Almighty God, oh God, for your man of God, Pastor Ralston Samuels, give him the strength that he will. Oh God, he has been leading the committee. John, to your honor and to your glory. Father God, we give you praises and honor. We give you thanks, O oh Lord God, for you have kept us and have allowed us to see this moment. And as we are closing right now, the Lord Jesus, you will anoint everyone with your oil of anointing. Surely goodness and mercy shall And we leave all things in your hands, all your children in your hands, Lord. For thine is your kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the church say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Let me just say thank you so much for coming. And we're about to do our final rites. Um, could you not leave? Could you not leave? Don't leave us yet. Please stay seated and let us leave in a good manner. Thank you. We yeah, have been doing well so far. So good. And I thank you for your participation. Thank you so much. We are about to leave and we are going to be going in this order. We are going to take the recessional hymn when we all get to heaven. And after the first stanza, the ministers will be leading out, followed by the pallbearers with the casket. Then the family members will follow suit. And then those who are still seated in the congregation will go out behind them. All right, could we please stay inside and do that? But just before you leave, one short announcement. Um, Genesis, Genesis Praise Fest 2023, Jamaica Youth for Christ, Genesis Praise Fest will be Sunday, January 1 at 5 p.m. at the Ronnie Williams Entertainment Center. Tickets are available, 2,500 pre-sold, but if you wait until you get to the gate, it's going to cost you $3,000. VIP, those very important persons, $5,000. Children 12 years and under, $1,000 and you get that at the gate. Tickets are available.
available right here. Anyone who is interested. All right? Okay, so we are ready.
Yeah, I should have a car, but no, there's nothing.
What that way? Walk over there. Come on. You wanna fly? You don't wanna walk. No, I walk. No, I This life is over, I'll fly away To a home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away, oh glory I'll fly away When I die, hallelujah, by and by I'll fly away When the shadows of this life are gone I'll fly away Like a bird o'er these prison walls I've flown I'll fly away This moment as we gather together, let us just give some glory to God at this moment. Let us all praise the Lord. Just lift him up again. God is good. God is great. God is wonderful. Praise God. We are going to pray at this moment. Righteous, eternal God and our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, O oh Lord for this gathering together of your children. As we about to lay your daughter to rest, I pray God your blessing <coughs> upon all of us as we gather here, Lord. May the heart wash you. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Praise God. <coughs> This time we would like the workers to lower it very slowly. Slowly, slowly down. Hey, when Ad, come on to me. Come on, come on. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. Though after my skin worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh 
heart faileth. But the Lord is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I will ransom thee from the power of the grave. I will redeem thee from death. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy refuge? The sting of death is sin. As touching the dead, that they rise not again. But Jesus said, I am the God of the living and not the God of the dead. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, the hour is coming and now is it, when all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, they that hear shall live. Praise God. For as much as it pleased Almighty God in His wise prophets to take out of this world our deceased, the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her body to the earth, ash to ash, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord, said the Spirit. From henceforth they shall rest from their labor, and their work do follow them. Praise God. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate excellent, day excellent. and night. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Though we walk excellent. through the fire somewhere of the right of death, Please, no. we will fear no evil. For thou art Holy baby, the Holy baby. The rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Let I pray thee thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word, unto thy servant. Praise the Lord. Let's go to our program at this time. All those who have their program, let's go to our program. Take up yourself, Jerky. There's a land beyond the river. You see that on your program. There is a land beyond the river that is more than the river. And the only reason for the day is one by one.
us for me. He has taken all my sins. Hallelujah, he goes to me. I know that man that runs from Galilee. I love that man from Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. He has taken all my sins. Hallelujah, he me. Can we praise the Lord? Let us all bless the Lord. Let's all embody after them. Let's see somebody. Hello. Let's take a picture for the board. Take a picture for the board. Hello. 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 Father, we just want to give you thanks for your favors, for your blessing, your protection, and your provision unto us from morning even to this very hour. We thank you for all the proceeding that has gone forth thus far. And right now, as we are about to be separated one from the other, I pray for covering, we pray for strength, we pray for comfort, we pray that God you grant unto each and every one the courage as we go through this time of loss. Bless, lead, and direct as we present everything to you and the rest of time in your precious name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sleep on, beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Do you know that? Yes. Let's sing that to the glory of God. Sleep on, beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Sleep on, The family where you are, so I'm going to speak with my family. Please. 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 The small kids are at the front. Yeah, after after service, this don't know little eating and everything. I go and see the big chef there. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And the children, the other children, no, only the Sorry, 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 sorry,
Auntie, let's say for Chicken, Please to take away your young bodies. Me. Larry, what's it beside? I'm not I'm But just about that, I need something. I need God to reach down and do something for me. I need Him. You see, Bobby. If my trip here tonight, before this concert should come to an end, if someone who is out of the will of God can shout out, I hear you, Lord, oh, it will be worth it. The gospel is not to show up who can sing the loudest or who can hold the note the longest. But we came for some souls tonight. I wish I had somebody who would agree with me. And if we can get one soul in every event, oh my God, the angels, the angels, the angels. Come on, believers, stand president for us all. I need the warriors, I need the believers. I want you to pray. I'm going to take you when you have no food, so I'm going to take Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. 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 Two multi two jadas. All right, big man. We there are support here. Most of them are just the next one. I want to tell you, we don't stand up in a bar. My I'm not going to use the light. The light on the phone, I saw. We have seen Papa with them since yesterday, yeah? Yeah, man. Yes, sir. All the things are going on here, So just thank you now and everything just bless upon yourself because we will cut it here now. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Kevin Worldwide and the Ricky Blacks, you know. Bless upon yourself.